this does not come off at all on the small screen. But here, what I was saying is that about his soaring imagination. Um, here, here he is, the fanciful harlequin, the magician. In his right hand, in, his, in one arm, he's got a drawing board, and the other arm is extended into the picture with a pen in hand. And he looks as though he's about to act upon the stage. And on stage, over here to the left, the Yeah, yeah, well, and I was about to say that's that's first street. Street. Yeah. That's right. I oh, I mean, I didn't know the name of the street, but I just came out of this Evansville. You, you guys can keep me updated here. So, this, it's springtime in this, in the real picture. It's, it's springtime, it's green, it's springtime in Evansville. And when he talked about this painting, um, he, he, he said, that is where my roots are. That was an actual quote. And then in the middle of the painting, you have what he calls his naturalicum, or his expanded universal natural world. And one of the things I wanted to point out to you, but it's lost in the shadows of this terrible slide, <laughs> there is a smaller picture of Wilde um, painting the Harlequin. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a real, it's a fabulous picture with so many details to look. And then over here, um, that is what he called his classicum. And this represents his really strong historic sense of art in the past. And that is something that, again, comes out all the time. So now I'm going to turn this over to Judith who will um, talk to you about his development as an artist and how he became the artist we know today. Thank you. That, that thing is We're going to go back and forth. I believe that thing is at the War Memorial in Milwaukee. Yes. yes, I think so. He told me a story about that oh, one good. time, and, and I would like to uh, share that with you. Back about the, the time that he, he offered that uh, to the people from the War Memorial for $1,000 or something like that. It's a big painting. And this was uh, before he became so well known. Well, anyway, uh, they didn't pick him up on it. And so they ran a two-page uh, uh, story in Time Magazine, uh, an article about John Wilde with two or three of his paintings pictured in there in the early 60s. And when they saw that, and, and the story about where he came was, they came out to visit him. Well, he'd offered them the painting for a thousand dollars, and they, they, uh, oh, they were so intrigued with this particular painting. How much is it? John said ten thousand dollars, <laughs> and so they wrote him a check for it. Oh, <laughs> they had thousand dollars. <laughs> I'd like to mention too that uh, I was talking to Johnny about this. Right to the left of his dad's left arm is where um, Johnny and my brother raided Gordy Casta's uh, garden. It's all first street. Trivia. <laughs> well, and I'll add some more trivia. The, the female figure on the left is, I believe, Elizabeth Baker. Oh. Some people may remember who used to live down by the, the girls' school and who walked. Daily past our house to go to the library or the Bum Gardens or down.